Provisions for sale. I have items of all sorts. Potions, ingredients, spells, charms. All for a fair price. You there, traveler. Oh, my apologies. Of course you're an adventurer. On a quest, no doubt. Where to, my friend? The Crystal Palace. Uh, that's in the Northern Lands, yes? Uh, you seem ill-prepared for such a cold environment. I have many warm clothes available for purchase. A cloak, at the very least, would improve your chances of survival against the harsh winds of that icy desert. No? Perhaps a hearth potion? Guaranteed to make you feel as though you're sitting by a fire. A good thing to drink when the air chills. It would be foolish to attempt your journey without such items. No? Ah, I see. Best of luck on your journey, traveler. Perhaps we will meet again someday. Items for sale, items of all kinds, high quality. Potions for sale, charms and spells as well. We have many fine goods. Excuse me, I, I recognize you, traveler. Oh, adventurer, of course, I forgot. Are you still on your quest to the Crystal Palace? No? Ah, turn back by the cold. You should have bought the items I offered. To go all that way just to turn back. It must put a damper on one's spirits. Where does your journey take you now? The infinite caverns. And I don't suppose you're going to go with just that sword. There are many things needed to survive the caverns. And lucky for you, I happen to sell them. You must buy a glowstone. Torches are unreliable, and the caverns are very dark. One false move, the flame is lost, and you're in darkness, never to be seen again. Really? No chance you'll buy? Uh, but what about a heat resistance charm? The deepest part of the caverns reach magma, not to mention the fire-breathing scorpions. You're liable to get burned without it. Then, uh, what about a night sight potion? See in the dark for up to three hours after consumption. A good thing to have for emergencies. No? Ah, then, best be on your way. I have to say, Traveler, if we keep meeting like this, I'll sell you something yet. High-quality items. Ah, a Traveler. Would you care to browse? Oh, my apologies, Adventurer. I didn't recognize you with that burn on your face. I assume your quest through the caverns did not go well. What am I doing here? No need to sound so accusatory. I'm trying to sell my wares, of course. I am a merchant, after all. Well, yes, I'm aware we're in the cursed woods. And who would need charms more than those in a cursed place? Speaking of, you've proved that going into a quest unprepared has unsavory results. So... Would you care to purchase a clear fear potion? Rumor has it if you lose your sense of direction and panic, these woods will twist around you and you'll stay lost until you calm yourself. This potion settles your nerves and allows you to see your true path. Still not interested, hmm? Uh, perhaps a deadened blade. The vines of these woods grow back mere moments after being cut down, making it hard to retrace your steps. This blade will prevent such reckless regrowth. Ah, I see. No need to get so angry. <sighs> you may walk away now, traveler. But one day, I'm sure you'll come to appreciate my presence. <sighs> Spells for sale. Fair prices on blades. Potions for sale. Items of all sorts. Oh, goodness. I didn't expect to see you here, Traveler. I'm surprised you made it out of the woods. Oh, yes. My mistake. You are an adventurer. You certainly look it, with all those scars. But the burn appears to be healing up nicely. Why ask a question you already know the answer to? I'm here to sell my wares. I'd say people in dungeons would be looking to buy provisions, and I'm here to sell them. It's basic supply and demand. I can see you've already had some difficulty with the creatures here. I don't suppose you'd be interested in a ring to increase your strength. Stamina, then? Dexterity? 
A sword that isn't cracked, maybe. Is it just that you've no gold to spare, or are you trying to make your life hard on purpose? Oh, I see. You just don't want to buy from me. I'm just trying to make a living, and my prices are all quite fair. What is the problem? Showing up everywhere you go, in case you've forgotten, you're the one who keeps appearing places I was already at. Perhaps you should stop showing up everywhere I go. Fine, but mark my words, one day you'll buy something from me. I'd stake my pride as a merchant on it. Good day. Ingredients and materials for sale. Potions for a fair price. Oh, look who it is. Greetings, traveler, although I know you are not glad to see me. How did I get here? I walked. What, you've never walked to the top of a volcano? How did you get here, then? Hmm? The dragon? Oh yes, it's still in there. Wouldn't recommend taking it on in battle without a flame-resistant shield. Or perhaps a cold skin potion to make your skin impervious to fire damage? It's brand new in stock, and they're going fast. Really? You're going to turn back. Yes, I can see you're scarred from battle and tired, but that's what stamina and healing potions are for, and you know I have those in excess. You could certainly turn tail and run, never knowing the face of the dragon that sleeps here. Or you could buy my wares and march towards that beast with your head held high. What's the point in coming all this way just to leave? Are you just a traveler? Or are you an adventurer? That's what I thought. Then make your selection. All goods are a fair price. Is that everything? Wonderful. Thank you for your business. I told you that you would buy something from me eventually. Best of luck on your quest. Adventurer. Wow, I haven't had to do one of these in a while. A uh, shout out to Doitsugo for the $50 donation on coffee. Thank you very much. I'm going to use that to cover the cost of Breath of the Wild, which is still full price. <laughs> Damn it, Nintendo. <laughs>